Hi, hello. Hello. Uh, I'm I'm fed up. I don't apply now. Not really. I I have no interest to apply. So here, this case shows me that uh, uh, they don't want me, me hire. So that's all. Sometimes I I got the impression that uh, I'm a sick with turban. So the people may be thinking he they are radical type of people. No, not at all. Turban is simply a symbol. No? That has nothing to do with the, uh, uh, with the fundamentalist type of thing. These are hidden type of discrimination, I will say. Hidden type discrimination means that uh, these are uh, behind the closed door. So at the face, the people who are taking your interview or you have interaction with these people, they are very friendly. There is no doubt what. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a sad story actually so many professional people are coming the government should utilize their 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 skills why not now they they came here they adopted this country the government has spent nothing for their qualification have spent not not even a single uh, uh, cent for their education no and they are coming they are trained people if uh, sometime I'm I'm saying if they are sometime the law or policy issue they are not aware they should be given training why not no a job come training some type of thing they should be given some opportunity even in my field there are a lot of jobs still a lot of jobs if you will not get the job the people even your own people relative they will say your qualification is nothing in Canada so you will feel degraded disrespect disregard the ideal is when the new immigrant profession immigrant comes he should be given at least an entry level opportunity so and uh, should at least uh, um, we are not asking that he should be paid excellent salary but at least to survive for at the beginning so this is the end solution otherwise uh, so many new profession immigrants are upset and some are doing taxi job some are doing security jobs for ten dollar twelve dollar i did these type of jobs too the government should open some office even at the airport or some in the uh, downtown so where the people can go get some assistance and uh, so they should be advised so what to do so the first phase is there and the government should at least give them some financial support so they can survive. Most of the professional immigrants come with the family. So how they should survive? So this is my point, that government should do something. Otherwise, the system will collapse.